Hello, it is I, Dragon Suit, also known as Sotasaur, in game. In this video, I'll be covering Minecraft's latest snapshot for the 1.16 Never update, 20W07A. Now, let's get right into the video. Firstly, some changes have been made to existing items and blocks. The hog and spawn egg has now been changed to match its respective mob, and a new spawn egg has been added in to accommodate for a new mob added in this snapshot, which I'll explain later. In addition, Neferite ingots and Neferite rocks can now be used to activate beacons. Finally, Soulfire lanterns are now animated and feature a new texture. Alongside those item and block changes, Endermen and Whiffers have now been changed to reflect the new items and blocks in this update. Endermen can now no longer pick up Neferak, however, they can now pick up Neferfungi and its variants. On the other hand, Whiffers can now be summoned using Soul Soil. And now onto the new features in this update. Hoglins have now been significantly changed since the last 1.16 snapshots. They are now hostile mobs and will try to chase after players. Hoglins will launch their targets into the air upon hit, making them deadly opponents to fight. Hoglins will also drop 2 to 4 pork chops and 1 to 2 ever upon death, making them more efficient food sources than pigs, which also drop the same food. In addition, holding Neferfungi in your hand will also have different effects on Hoglins depending on which type you're using. Crimson Fungi can be used to right-click on Hoglins, making them breed together and create baby Hoglins, which are smaller, weaker, and will flee upon being hit. On the other hand, Hoglins will dislike Warped Fungi, and will be hesitant to attack any player holding this item. A new mob has also been added in this snapshot, the Piglin. Piglins are humanoid neutral mobs that will spawn with gold swords or crossbows. These mobs spawn in the Nether Waste and Crimson Forest biomes, and always spawn in groups consisting of adults and babies. Adult Piglins are aggressive and will try to hunt down any players, hoglins, and wither skeletons that come close whereas the babies are passive and will not try to attack. Additionally, piglins are also afraid of their zombie counterparts, zombified piglins, as well as blue fire, soul fire torches, and soul fire lanterns. These mobs may appear hostile at first, however, you can approach them by wearing gold armor. By doing so, this gives you the ability to trade with piglins. Right-clicking a piglin with a gold ingot, or by throwing the gold ingot directly at them, will make them pick up the gold ingot and throw a random item in exchange. This process is called bartering, and you can get various nether resources out of it, as well as fire charges and even obsidian. When traveling into the nether, consider bringing some gold ingots so you can do business with piglins. But be warned, even with gold armor, piglins are always suspicious of you. Piglins will still attack if they see you injure one of their own kind, or if you try to open a chest, trap chest, ender chest, shulker box, or barrel nearby, as piglins take a great disliking to being stolen from. Finally, if you want to do bartering with piglins outside of the nether, you're out of luck. Piglins will turn into zombie pigmen, or as they are now called, zombie 5 piglins, when they are left in the overworld for more than 20 seconds. It is technically possible to keep a piglin from being zombified outside of the nether for more than 20 seconds by transporting it into an end portal immediately after leaving the nether, but this is nearly impossible. Well, that's all I have for this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other videos too. This is Dragon Souped, signing out.